So I'm kind of revisiting from Nerf's Curse, but you probably have no problem at all, but just kind of quickly I'll just go through it. So I will start with point. And then I simply set multiple points and then just draw any 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 points you want. Yeah. <laughs> okay, anyone from now on, anyone who ring the bell should dance for three minutes. <laughs> How about it? <laughs> Or we can we can we can ask for her to sing for three minutes. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to use a nerve curve. There are two nerve curves. I will simply select the first one, looks more simple. And then always I will use display uh, draw full name. Okay, simply it requires vertices, that's fine. So are you comfortable about degree? So I'll simply test it. So I'll type simply three. Then it will give you a number slider. I connect it. So if I do it zero, it becomes poly curve. So now it's a problem because nerve curve should have at least degree one. So if degree one, it's okay, but it look like poly curve. Two, a little bit less curvature. And three, more curvature. It goes, 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 and it becomes a kind of like smoother curve. And then periodic, I extract parameter. If you set it as true, it become close to curve. Otherwise, it's open curve. So this one, you all know about it, right? And interpolate curve is a little bit different. So this one is poly curve. A uh, point, which is I just used a uh, multi point. Yeah, we have a previously a couple of students have an issue that sometimes if you do same thing like set multiple points, sometimes it asks you point of location so you can pick some location. Sometimes you have sometimes it asks you like where is reference point. So do do you remember? Sometimes it asks you to reference point and you can only select existing point. Sometimes you can pick a point. In those cases, <coughs> what you should do, simply uh, clear values. So refresh the input parameter. That is, you can do either a pick point on a screen or also you can select a point. So either way. So if you have a problem with selection issues or input issues, just clear the values. Okay, I will clear values and then I will reselect it. So I just, just draw any point will be fine and enter. So this was though, so far we done. Uh, interpolate curves. <coughs> interpolate. On the other hand, also if you draw it, it's, it, 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 it will draw a curve path through the point. That's the difference between interpolate curve and nerves curve. So, it's, so, so far it's okay, right? No problem. <laughs> and then also you can control degree periodic not style. If you just check the health file, you can get the idea what does that mean by vertices. It's point, actually. Degree integer, you know what degree is. Periodic means if it is true, it will create a closed curve. If it is false, it will create open curve. As with the not style, uniform code, so I'm not so sure what it is. So test it kind of on your own. So interpolate curve and kinky curve is kind of interesting and also so kinky curve also you need degree angle so I kind of copy this three uh, actually we don't need that so actually I'm just simply connect point here and then we also need a degree I will I will kind of uh, dis disconnect it so I want to use this one only okay so. Uh, another important thing, if you select this one, this green, do you know what this icon means? Okay, when you have multiple geometries from multiple uh, components, actually this one shows all the three, and then if you select some component, it highlighted the geometry with green color. If you use this one, it will delete everything and only show selected one. So probably it's up to you, so just use uh, as you wish. And then this one, actually this one I probably delete everything. 
and then this one also if I unclick it so kind of use it as you wish and then red one <coughs> show it to everyone so okay so that's the thing just with this green one shows only the selected one temporarily so kind of if you want if you have messy geometry I would definitely use this one if it's simple I just draw I will unclick it so kinky curve need vertices and degree so you see that if the degree is higher becomes smooth and number slide smaller it become poly curves the angle is actually <coughs> what does it mean is when you draw a kind of smooth curve and the next one so this one is the vector continuous vector and if a certain if you set a kind of certain 90 degree angle here more than if the next <coughs> point is locating from 90 degree this angle it will kink it. Yes? Uh, so the kink curve is the, the green one, right? Yes. It's not doing anything. Yeah, that, yeah, because I didn't set angle yet. Oh, okay. So <coughs> now I will set angle, but the something critical thing is that you have to set angle in radians. Anyone can explain what is radians? Uh, it's based on the number system that is not. So radians, not. so this one, angle is this one starting here, 0 to ending with 360, right? This degrees, radiance is when you have a circle, that's that the, uh, the R is 1, you do try to measure this one, and then this distance, R, 1 and the 1, it says this one is 1. This is the definition of radiance. The simple way to convert ang uh, angle to radiance is simply multiply 1, 8, 4 or something. Everyone just remember I kind of add this one a lot in the extra workshops. Zero point zero something. But you don't need to be bothered about it because there's a. So now you probably have angle. I say type. Then I will set it as three maximum is three sixty. So this is our degree. Uh, our angle in degrees. So I type it as uh, angle in degrees we have to convert it to radians so there is actually a function called radians this will simply change degree into radians so this is all you have to do so it's simple How did you convert? Uh, just simply type radians ah. and then it will convert the degrees to angle okay. okay to test it I will reset point so uh, what I want to draw is something start with curve and kink it and probably continuous on other curves. So I'll kind of draw something like one, two, three, four, five, six. So I will reset my curve point. I will clear values and I will I will disconnect everything. I don't need it. I don't need it. And then I will reset point something like I have one two three and kink it and continuous line so if I select it it does not do not work anything but if I reduce down the angles uh, the degree uh, the weight degree must be at least three <coughs> then you see that this one straight if I increase the angle, now it starts to kink. Which means the saturation angle is 62. More than 62 degrees, it will start to kink it instead of continue making it continuous. So probably I'm suspecting that if when this is going to like this, if this angle is higher than 62, it will kink it. And then here, I think like here, this one is higher than 62, so it can create. Yeah, so kind of, any any question? Is it so clear? Sam, is this not, like, I too easy? I know, yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> okay, now if you don't see me, I will ask you <laughs> your name. <laughs> Good. So this is kink curve. 
uh, polyline probably you use it a lot so probably I don't need to reintroduce it but I simply polyline here and simply I connect it to and hey man did you check what is the difference between dot line and continuous line Dot is represent multiple and single is. This is representing one vertex. Mm. Okay, so polyline is the. Is the you, you probably know what polyline is. So it's just polyline. So closed, if you set it up, set it as true, yeah. then it is connected. It's so multiple lists. Multiple lists. Yeah. I see. As opposed to the single. single okay, so you got the idea. Dot line means multiple elements inside. Single line is, but I'm, okay, I'll, do, I'll also double check it too. So you see that two line means multiple, but two line is multiple, which means many elements. Single line is one value, but dot line is actually, I think it's more like a more complex tree. I think it's more kind of nested tree, I guess. Yeah, two line is a two, two line, so uh -huh. list. List okay. Whereas one line is a single. Single. Red line is no data. No data. Yeah. What is dot then dot line or dashed line? Dot line. The dot is, is multiple list. Multiple. <laughs> ah, multiple list. Okay. Multiple list as as well the dot double line is is one list. Mm -hmm. I see. And one line is, is one curve. Okay. Thanks very much. This will be on our keys sometimes. <laughs> okay. So poly arc is kind of like drawing an arc. So I just simply double click it. I type poly arc. Then actually I will repeat using it this one. This one need tangent. What does that mean is you need you have to decide the first vector of starting point. So kind of okay, this one is our first point. If I first point is using somewhere xy the slope is zero, intercept is zero. Uh, slope is one, intercept is zero. Then actually, you see that you start the start vector is look like this, and it will kind of connect like it. Or if I change the tangent vector, something like low, I kind of using minus y axis. You see that this one is going to like this. So this one is poly arc. So first one is easy. Okay, finish up and then upload it the uh, file. Our 